have thousands of possibilities of mixing and matching flowers and plants to our vast library of porcelain, clay, wooden pots and containers. As seen here on the left, the screen, are just a few of the many choices of well over 500 flowers, plants, and pottery to choose from. Okay, I'm going to drag and drop a pot over, and then from our accessories, I'll drag the planter soil and let's place it, put it in place there. Now let's grab one of the many varieties of flowers and plants we have. As you can see, there's so many different varieties to choose from. And then there's the last one right there. I'm going to drag the plant soil over and I'm going to place it. I'm going to hit Control T and transform it. And then using my Command key, I'm going to use the Distort button or Control key if you're a PC. And I'll put the plant soil in place and set it in there perfectly. Sheet. Let's pull one of the plants off. There's the bracket right there. Let's put the plant underneath it and take a look at it. That looks pretty darn good. Okay, there's another kind of a bracket and we'll put that in place and let's put a plant underneath that. And there's so many different varieties that you can choose from. Let's, this is another kind of a bracket. We'll put that in place and this time we'll grab the chain and we'll put the chain under there and we'll add the plant to that. And let's get in close and take a look at it. I probably should have cropped the chain a little bit on the bottom, but that's okay. Do a wicker basket. There's the handle. And now let's drag the wicker basket in. And I'm going to resize the handle to fit the basket. Control T or Command T on my Mac is a Command T. There we go. Now let's lift up the wicker basket. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to drag the eye bolts off of the accessory sheet. Drag that in place put it around the wicker handle and I'm going to erase as you can see here and when we get up closely and that looks great. I'm going to grab the wall mount bracket and drag it off of the sheet and place it against the wall and add a plant and that looks pretty good. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to take these arches and they're in a beautiful collection that we have and let's take the gazebo and we'll drag the bride right in front of the gazebo. And there's another arch and we can go Command T or Control T and resize it. And let's grab the balustrades and we'll line those up with the arch. And then we'll take the flowers in the front after we add the bride. And there we go. And that lives, gives it some color harmony. The next thing we'll do is drag an arch over the bride and groom. It's a plain background and we want to spruce it up a little bit. Now let's grab the flower pot and we'll pull that in front and give it a little bit of foreground color. And then this is a Yosemite scene. We'll just drag it over. You can drag it over any scene for that matter and we'll drop, drop in the bride and groom. And then from our frame collection we have a vast variety of frames and that looks great. And we have a beautiful frame in our collection. And now I'm going to use the marquee tool and I'm just going to clip her hip there and I'm going to clip underneath as well. And that's going to give a nice three dimensional look. That looks great. We have wonderful nature's accents and you can create stunning album spreads. We're going to drag the bride in and the frame from our vast collection and we'll just uh, erase the underneath layer. And the same thing will apply with the bride and the groom. Drag them in, reduce the size, and start erasing the underneath layer, and the same thing will apply here. Here's a case where we're going to use the uh, blending mode. We're going to drag the flowers in, use the blending mode, and then use the uh, transparency, reduce it. And now I'm going to just take and duplicate the blending mode uh, layers soon after I drag the bride and the groom in. And let's go ahead and duplicate these layers. And uh, the other one I'll transform 180 degrees and we've got a really nice effect. I'm going to introduce to you the power of Studio Magic and how well it works with nature's accents. Here's our farm. I happened to shoot that farm when I was in uh, Kansas City. We'll drag a tree over, which is one of our overhangs. It's a wonderful framing device. There we go. And now let's grab the fence and we'll bring that in. And then the horse will place right behind the fence. There we go. And now our flower bed collection. Let's give it some color and a really nice foreground effect. And that creates depth of field. And that's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll put the birds in. 
and we'll click OK and that's using Studio Magic and uh, the birds will be set in place and now we're going to go ahead and cut the rancher out and uh, we'll use that with the Studio Magic 1 and all the tutorials will be available in your downloads so we won't get into detail on how to do that and now let's go ahead and drag the rancher in and uh, let's now turn it to snow using Studio Magic 2 and now we'll create the different layers of snowflakes. In this tutorial I covered the basics of Studio Magic. Included in your downloads are comprehensive movie tutorials on using Studio Magic 1 and 2. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions please contact us at help at LayerCakeElements.com. Thank you again for attending.